Welcome back to the 37th Space Symposium here at the beautiful Broadmoor Hotel in Colorado Springs. We are on the showroom floor of the Ball Aerospace Exhibit Center as we continue our series of interviews with space leaders. We're lucky enough today to have with us Pete Canito, the Chairman and CEO of Redwire. Welcome back to the show, Pete. It's good to be here. So back in August, we were here and we talked about how Redwire had gone from zero to 60 in a very short period of time. Right. Well, you apparently haven't taken your foot off the accelerator and we're at mock speed here. You guys have been growing so fast. It's an amazing story. But before we get into that, I wanted you to share with the audience um, a little bit about the depth, the depth of, of experience and the legacies that have come together in a short period of time to yeah. make Redwire what it is. Yeah, that's an excellent question. And it's really a unique aspect of who we are um, because at Redwire, we have what we call our Heritage Plus Innovation Strategy, where we've brought together a number of different companies and a lot of people who have been working in space for a really long period of time, um, to include over 50 plus years, and have been a part of many of the marquee uh, missions that have occurred in space. Wow. And we've combined uh, that culture and that ethos and that technology with some really exciting uh, new space companies as well that bring kind of an innovation and an agile and a new energy and we brought them together and that's what we call heritage plus innovation and it's really interesting because you know we honor the legacy of space and there's been a lot of great things that have done before but there's it's also a very exciting and new time to be a part of space as well so bringing that element in has created an energy uh, that both acknowledges and celebrates the legacy and the tradition uh, of those who have come before in space, as well as with an eye towards the future uh, and things that we can do differently and some of the new great technologies that are coming out of there. So um, that makes working at Redwire a really exciting place to be. I'll bet. You know, so uh, the rate at which this industry is diversifying is breathtaking. Yeah. Um, what does that mean for a company that's trying to establish its niches when new niches keep popping up and they're, they're, the, the, this industry evolves in so many different directions? How do you keep that, that focus on, on your value proposition, who you are, and what you want people to think when they hear about Redwire? Right, yeah, well, it, it's, it's a really exciting part of the industry, right? And I think that's why you're seeing so many new uh, businesses and business models starting to develop like Redwire is because there are so many new opportunities uh, as the uh, industry grows more diverse. Um, so for Redwire, because we offer what we call foundational technologies across space infrastructure, the technical building blocks of space, right. uh, we actually have a really diverse product or portfolio. So diversity to us is a strength, um, both from a cultural perspective as well as from a technical perspective. Uh, because uh, we have the opportunity to do things that nobody's done before and think about things and bring some of that innovation that I talked about uh, as part of that uh, Heritage Plus Innovation Strategy to bear across a lot of different uh, diverse segments like national security, civil space exploration, and as well as the emerging commercial markets. How do you boil that down into a succinct elevator speech? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. You, you need to tell somebody, you know, in, in short order, what Redwire is. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sound bites. It's a, so the sound bite is the, founda the foundational technologies for the future of space infrastructure. Right. So if you think about the way the terrestrial economy developed over a hundred years plus, um, you think about these foundational technologies like power or compute or um, uh, engineering support, or uh, in the case of aerospace, avionics, or sensing. These are all foundational technologies that drive the terrestrial economy. Uh, we believe there, and what Redwire offers is um, foundational technologies that are gonna drive the future of the space economy. Many of them are very similar. Power, power in space, compute power in space, um, avionics. Um, sensing capabilities in space. These are the building blocks that'll be the future, and that's what Redwire is providing is out there. So um, we like to say that when space wins, Redwire wins, and it's because we have this diverse set of 
foundational building blocks that can help a lot of different customers, regardless of how they're tr what they're trying to do in space, operate in space with both the a significant heritage of a company that's been around for 50 years, so you know we can deliver, but with also that innovative, innovative component uh, that's going to bring new ideas to solve some of these challenging problems. Great. So what do you what have you been up to since we talked last in August? It's been seven months. Yeah. What's the red wire uh, trajectory right now? Yeah, yeah, so we did this little thing called going public uh, in <laughs> September, so we've been up to that a little bit. Uh, we, we talked in August right, and then right. in September uh, uh, we went public, and so that's been really exciting uh, for us, uh, and certainly in raising the profile of what red wire is doing. Um, in addition to that, we're just, you know, uh, joining a lot of really exciting missions out there that are emerging, like uh, we were part of the uh, Orbital Reef team mm -hmm. uh, with our partners at Blue Origin and Sierra Space, so we're really excited about that. Uh, we uh, uh, contributed key technological building block components to the DART mission, uh, which is a planetary defense mission to redirect asteroids. Uh, we actually uh, provided the rollout solar array technologies to that. Um, we are providing the cameras uh, for Orion as part, we're really excited about the upcoming uh, Artemis launch because we're providing the uh, technical and navigational cameras for Orion. So, you know, we've been um, out there doing what Redwire does, uh, teaming with uh, other partners in the industry on some of these really exciting programs. It kind of feels to me like these foundational technologies and, and focuses that, that Redwire's uh, uh, working toward right now is, um, it, it feels new. The, the space companies have tended to specialize in things or, 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 or focus more at the programmatic level. The, right. This, this trend towards the foundational systems and, and fundamentals that you need to be able to be successful in space is new. Do you see competition coming? Is, is, this a, is this a popular direction to for businesses to grow? I mean, clearly you're in the lead, but uh, do you feel competition? Well, yeah, so there's competition on multiple levels, right? There's competitions with companies um, for individual product lines. Sure. Um, there's competitions for companies uh, uh, for a variety of different uh, solutions that might be uh, out there, but the space industry is a very high growth industry. And we're kind of at a maturation point where partnering is really more important than competing because there just isn't enough, there just aren't enough resources in the industry for one company to do it all. And I think this is what has spurred a lot of this, we call it mission, mission we call ourselves a mission enabler. This mission enabler uh, ethos is the idea is that there's so many people out there, there's so many companies with great new ideas that can leverage partnerships and foundational technologies to go out there. And, um, uh, and that's really exciting because that moves the entire industry forward. So there may come a day where space is uh, as mature as say automotive or uh, commercial uh, uh, aviation, yeah. that it becomes a really more competitive, but right it now I think feels we're like we're together. in the early stages of industrialization of space. It is, it is, yeah, absolutely. It feels like that because it is, yeah. That's a great way to put it, and, and we're really excited about that, um, so. So, um, experts have been projecting a, a space market volume that's going to be exceeding trillions of dollars uh, by 2040. Take your crystal ball and tell us how you see Redwire fitting into that kind of growth in, in the space markets. Two billion, two trillion by 2040. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. Well, one of the exciting things about Redwire uh, is our ability to bring these companies that were doing extraordinary things together into a larger platform uh, so that they can um, take advantage of some of that uh, foundational uh, investment in things like corporate infrastructure and things like security in opportunities to cross-pollinate. Maybe they were using a technology in a particular market with a particular customer that's very relevant to a market that uh, one of our other legacies were working in. So as uh, I kind of see a company like Redwire as a natural progression of the fact that the industry is growing to such a large size uh, because you now have these different companies that are 
kind of coming together uh, to take advantage of scale. And that's what, when you're at a trillion dollar industry, scale is going to make a really big difference. So. I gotcha, yeah. And you guys are at a, at a, in a position to see into so many of the evolving intersections between technology and policy and, uh, and commercial development and demand. Um, but that also puts you in a position to be very alert to and attuned to the challenges right. that, that we're facing in, 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 in the subsectors of our, of our industry. What are some of those challenges that you and your team are looking at uh, to take on yeah. in the next few years? Yeah, the, uh, it's an excellent question. So there's two primary challenges that I'm very passionate about in the space industry. Uh, one is a focus on the economics of space and the privatization of space and the development of this commercial economy, right? Traditionally, space has been the domain of governments uh, for the purposes of exploration, uh, largely in national security. Uh, there's a re really exciting segment of the uh, space industry that is growing into its own economy itself. And what I mean by that is things like Orbital Reef, right. where you're talking about having commercial space stations with uh, capabilities like Redwire develops, like our 3D printing on orbit, or our bioprinting, or our uh, biotechnology, or plant science capabilities that can actually create products and solutions for Earth. So it kind of generates its own economy. So one of the things that I think the space industry uh, uh, is starting to, uh, and really needs to stay hyper-focused on, is the fact that this is a business. Uh, so it has to be profitable, right. uh, and we have to generate economic benefit. And so Redwire is very involved uh, with a number of other partners on building that a future a commercial economy in space to make sure that uh, it has all of the attributes that you would expect from a very successful economy like we have here in the United States in our terrestrial uh, economy. So that's one of the challenges uh, that we're moving through. The other is, quite frankly, is attracting a really great talent to the space industry. Um, uh, we have a really a lot of uh, great folks who already work in the space industry, uh, but we have to make sure as we grow in order to meet those, those trillion dollar expectations that we're con constantly not only attracting great talent against a lot of other uh, very interesting industries uh, like the metaverse or cyber or anything else, but that we're attracting diversified talent um, that can bring new perspectives into the industry and to help evolve uh, the direction we're going in. And, and that's another uh, major challenge that uh, we're making a lot of headway on, but uh, uh, it's something we need to continuously work at. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. What, what, are, what are you doing at Redwire to address that issue in terms of making sure that your future workforce uh, brings the skill set, the diversity, uh, and the vision that you need for the, the Red Wire mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the things we're doing is we're very active in um, trying to recruit uh, and work with young people who are coming out of college with technical degrees uh, to make sure that they understand that space uh, is a really great uh, career, you know, place that you can go and create a career and that uh, a, a company like Red Wire has the culture where they can come in and learn and become a part of space. Uh, I, did, I have not spent my entire career in space, uh, and I found it to be a really welcoming industry. So uh, we want to continue to perpetuate that, and particularly with uh, underrepresented communities. Right. So we are participating in a number of different fellowship programs, like the Zed Fellowship Program, uh, and others, in order to try to attract uh, diversity into the workforce as well. And we have a number of programs internally that we do, where we uh, celebrate uh, diversity. We had a number of activities uh, most recently in March around uh, 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 the Women's History Month uh, and uh, this is an exciting month because uh, as you may or may not know President Biden uh, declared April as Arab American right. uh, History Month so we have a number of activities based around that to not only educate our workforce but uh, to celebrate and tell the story of the contributions of these different communities so uh, so there's a lot to be done out there, and we have a couple of programs uh, and some uh, dinners that we're sponsoring here uh, that are uh, oriented towards young people yeah. in the space community. No, it's a business strategy. Yeah. Oh, it's an imperative. It absolutely is. Uh, we couldn't achieve the things 
uh, that we're doing now, nor could we achieve the things that we aspire to do uh, without having a very vibrant, uh, diverse uh, space industry workforce. Okay, so one last question. Sure. Um, what might we be seeing or hearing in the news over the next six months or so that Redwire will have had a hand in? Uh, so we're excited about the Artemis launch. Right, uh, that's a really big deal. Uh, getting uh, uh, back to the moon is important for the a nation. It's important for the uh, entire world, quite frankly. And there's a lot of international participation in that. And we're uh, proud to be a, a part of that as well. So having the c cameras on the Orion capsule and seeing that launch uh, will be really exciting uh, as well. And we have a number of programs like this. We are already planned to be a part of at least eight launches. Uh, coming up this year. Uh, so uh, we're going to see a lot of exciting things there. And then continuing to really push um, the both the business and the technology side of commercial space is something that we're going to be really focused on. And we hope to have a lot of really exciting announcements coming up uh, this year around advances in that area as well. Okay. Well, we'll stay tuned. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us today, yeah. Pete. Yeah, hope to see you next year. My pleasure. Absolutely. Pete Canito, Chairman and CEO of Redwire, developing a foundational approach to the future.